Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and it's time for the Root Tip of the Week. But before we get started, let's reach into the top hat for the Magic Illusion of the Week. Okay, today I'm going to show you a torn and restored paper trick. Now, I'm selfishly going to use my brochure here because, in fact, there's uh, my upcoming courses. But you could use any type of paper. Normally, a uh, newspaper works best, but I'm going to tear it up and then we'll restore it. Take the paper and tear it in half. And when we're doing this, we'll just tear it into several different pieces. And as we tear it up, it's much easier with newspaper to do this, by the way. But we're going to tear up all the pieces, and then we'll just kind of fold them together. And uh, you can say the magic words and restore it, but I kind of like to just hold it in my hand, blow on it, and then when I take it back out and open it up, like I said with newspaper, this is a whole lot easier, but I just wanted to show this to you with this type of paper here. And there it is totally restored, a little bit wrinkled up. As you can see, that's my face all fixed up. To learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. When I was in dental school, they taught me that I should measure the working length prior to doing my canal preparation. So let's take a close look at the fallacy behind that type of thinking. So if we follow the directions they gave us in dental school and prepare the root canal prior to obtaining the working length, two things will happen. One, we're inevitably going to push some of the necrotic material out the end of the tooth. This has to happen because the file, in order to measure working length, must go slightly beyond the apex. When that happens, you will grab some material from the inside of the canal and push it beyond the apical length. Now, there's another good reason that we do not want to measure the entire working length right off the bat. If our original canal length measurement was 20 millimeters and we cut away the inside of the curve, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, and therefore we will wind up getting to the apex a lot sooner. Maybe now the canal will only measure 19 millimeters. But if we continue to go back to the original 20 millimeters that we wrote down to begin with, we will wind up going beyond the apex, and the patients really hate it when this happens. Did you ever wind up with a pile of paper points, all of which had a little 2 millimeter bit of red on the end of each one of those paper points? You do know that canal walls don't bleed. And if you get red on the paper point, it means you have to be going beyond the apex, Therefore, you've prepared the periodontal ligament, you've pushed out everything out into the bone, and your patients are going to have problems with post-op sensation, inflammation, and that sort of thing. So how can we avoid this? Of course, the simple answer is, don't obtain the working length until after you've prepared at least two-thirds of the canal. That way, you have removed necrotic material that's in the canal most of the way down. And if you have a canal that's partly necrotic and partly vital, where will the vital tissue be? It'll be at the apex. Therefore, remove most of that necrotic material, then take your file, go down to obtain the working length, subtract a millimeter once your apex locator says you're at apex, which means, of course, you're out the end of the tooth. And at that point, you've also avoided changing your measuring length because you don't cut away the inside of the curve, which changes the length and shortens it by up to a millimeter, millimeter and a half. So if you'll follow those simple rules that I've given you, I think you will find it's much better to obtain working length after you've prepared at least two-thirds of the root canal. And that's our Pulp Fiction for today. Well, that's it for another Root Tip of the Week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers inviting you to register at endorootcamp.com for free videos and special reports you can't get anywhere else. Meanwhile, I will see you at our next Endo Root Camp. Thank you.